Um, yeah. I, I wouldn't if I were you. Kinda looks like a crime scene. <laughs> How the fuck are ya, Booger Brigade? Galactic Criminal here. The Agonist is a Canadian metal band, yes! <laughs> From Montreal, Quebec. Formed in 2004, the current lineup consists of guitarist Danny Marino and Pascal Tobin, bassist Chris Kells, drummer Simon McKay, and vocalist Vicky Siracus, who joined in March 2014 following the departure of vocalist and founding member Alyssa White Blues. Both Siracus and White Glues use growls and clean vocals. Originally known as Tempest, the band adopted their current moniker while when they signed in to Century Media. Well, it's a good thing they're no longer on Century Media, or else this would not be happening. <laughs> I've been seeing a fat fucking ton of you cunts telling me to check these guys out, so there's gotta be something about them. The Agonist, in vertigo, with one, two,
Steak face is permanent now. Holy fuck! <laughs> I mean, tell me, tell me one thing, one thing that was wrong with this track. Because I certainly can't think of anything. Just, oh my god, like melodic death metal starting off so fucking heavy. That drummer, I swear to fuck. <laughs> just like trying to break those sticks, dude. Just, do, 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 just fucking jackhammer in the fucking the drums through the start of this thing, and the drums throughout this entire track were absolutely fucking phenomenal. I couldn't fucking believe how cool and heavy that was. Everything was everything was on point. Everything was on point, and got was able to be showcased in one way or another without taking it out of the motherfucker. Like the guitars, the guitars are just awesome. So brutal and fucking heavy, dude, and the fucking, the cool solo moment little bits that they did in there were genius as fuck, dude, just the placement of those little, of those moments, dude, and the, and the, like, the sound of them just matched the song so perfectly, just giving it such a cool edge in those specific moments, the vocals, unfucking real unfucking real an incredible fucking range there. It said that she's got fucking growls and she's got cleans. There was a couple of different styles of growls in there and a very nice clean, a clean moment that I did not see coming. I was wondering when the clean was going to going to enter this song, if it was at all, because to this to that point, it was very, very fucking, very heavy and pretty goddamn fast, to be honest. So I wasn't expecting it to drop into like a very slow melodic section like that, which was very cool. They came out of that section incredibly well, built back into the fucking speed and heaviness of the song again with like the guitar bits and stuff like that transitions were fantastic and then out of nowhere a fucking like a bass style of solo and like in, a, in the break there perfect perfect placement for that and showcase in the basses which doesn't happen all that often to be honest <laughs> fucking just fantastic all through and through this entire fucking track oh my god oh now I can breathe <laughs> just so good so good! Everything about this, the composition of this track was solid, sol solider, I was gonna say solider than fuck. Whatever, I made up a word. And then when the fucking, <laughs> when, the, when the vocals went like super deep toward the end there, dude, I was like, oh, you saw it on my face. That was just like, yes. <laughs> I mean, I was okay with how the vocals were for the rest of the track and up until that point and would have been happy with them to stay that way to the end of it. But just going down for like that fucking, like, almost like slam fucking kind of fucking moment, almost breakdown-ish. I don't know, man. I was just, wow. I was blown away by that. I was not expecting that to be that fucking good. I mean, I just, I honestly felt people were just saying, hey, check out this band because it was Alyssa White Glue's fucking old band. You know, because I checked out the new track by Carnifex with her featured in it on the weekend there, and so a bunch of people were saying, check out, check out this band, check out this band, check out this song. A brand new motherfucker from an album, I believe it says they got coming out uh, in the fall. Just, oh, that was really fucking cool. And Canadian! Yeah! <laughs> yeah, dude, I absolutely thought that was the tits. I've got absolutely... Zero criticism. Zero criticism when it comes to this. The clean was used incredibly well, which is pretty rare. I've said in, in the past, the vocals were awesome. Guitar was sick. Fucking just shredding solos. It was so good. So good. I absolutely, absolutely am going to be digging in to some more of this. So, hey, if you've never heard of these guys before, what did it feel like to get a fucking Canadian metal enema? <laughs> Let me know in the comments below. Of course, there will be a link in the description for this video, so you can go ahead and watch it for yourself, full screen, full audio, and get the full experience. And as always, have yourself a fantastic evening.